my name is Dr. Olivia Moses and welcome to my kitchen. This is the place where delicious and healthy meat and we have a little fun along the way. Today we're going to be making a mixture that can be used in tacos, it can be used on the side of brown rice. There are many things that you can do with this and it has healthy sweet potatoes, it has healthy black beans and it is spiced up so it tastes delicious and it happens to be vegan. So the first thing that we need to do is prepare the sweet potatoes and we're gonna stick them in the oven and then the second step is to prepare the black beans on the stove and then we're gonna mix it all together. So the, for the sweet potatoes, very, very simple. We're gonna take them and put them in here. Then we're going to drizzle with olive oil. And don't put a, too much in here, just drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to sprinkle some cumin in here and that cumin is gonna just make this thing sing. Oh, I just love the smell of cumin. And then we're gonna have some smoke, smoked paprika. And then a little bit of salt. And then right there, your sweet potatoes are all prepped. So we're gonna then mix that all up. So with the, this two, two sweet potatoes that I have in here. I probably put about a teaspoon of cumin, probably a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika, and then salt to taste. Okay, and if you like cumin, you can throw a little bit more in there. Okay, so now that's all mixed up. We have the oil in there too. You just dump the whole thing in. And the, the big thing here to keep in mind is you want a single layer of sweet potato on your pan. So we don't want anything that is double layered or them on top of, laid on top of the other. You want it to be on the hot pan so it gets a little bit of a brown on there. Just spread it out. So this, this time I made enough for one. However, if you're seeing that you are having double layers of sweet potatoes, just get out another pan and break it into two. Okay, so now we have one layer of beautiful sweet potato on this pan. And what we're going to do is we are going to stick it in a 400 degree oven. And then while this is baking, we are going to prep the black beans. Okay, now we're going to do the black bean portion and we are on the stove. So welcome to the stove section of my kitchen. Um, we have some hot olive oil um, going here and we're going to put in, and can you hear that? It's the onions. So I actually have about half of a fairly large purple onion that I threw in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have that sweat a little bit. And what that means, another way you could look at it is until they start becoming a little bit see-through or transparent. So. And I always say this about onions when you have them sauteing. I might not do anything else but saute some onions in a pan and people think I'm, I'm making something very delicious. And it's just something about the smell of sauteing onions that is just amazing. So this is gonna take a little while to do. And what actually makes this go a little bit faster, if you wanna throw just a little bit of salt, what the salt is going to do is it's going to actually take out some of that water of the onion and it'll actually make the process go just a tad bit quicker. You don't wanna to put too much in here, um, too much salt in here, and the reason is I used canned black beans. Now you can use dry black beans and have them soaking so you don't have any salt in them. However, these black beans, what we did was we soaked them, we, 
we open the can, threw them in a bunch of water, and let them sit in water a little while. So it hopefully seeped out a lot of the, the sodium. And then we kept on rinsing them. But the better way is actually to boil your black beans, and it's a lot cheaper. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to move them you want to move them around the pan so none of them is actually burning. We're getting too brown and the other ones are not cooked at all. So just some even heat on there. So when these onions get a little bit see-through or translucent, not quite, quite done, you want to throw in your chopped garlic. And now here what I did is I chopped some fresh garlic. You can definitely use the jarred garlic or uh, garlic paste, whatever you have, but you know, there's something about using some fresh garlic. And so I actually have probably around four medium-sized cloves of garlic on here, pieces of garlic, that I just did a rough, fine chop on. It's about right now, you're gonna have some visitors in your kitchen because it smells so good and all you did was do some onion and some garlic. So with that, um, we're gonna actually have that saute a little bit more and um, have those flavors melt together. You wanna get this in the oil and we are going to toast up some of the, I guess if you wanna call it toasting, you can toast up some of the, the spices as well. So we have some ground cumin in here that we're gonna throw in. That's probably a tablespoon and a half. And then we have some oregano. And so I'm gonna put probably a full table, two tablespoons of this stuff in there. I like the taste of it. So then we're gonna mix this around and have that roast in that oil a bit. Okay. Once you put the cumin and the oregano, it's gonna dry up a little bit, but don't worry, we're gonna be putting some liquid stuff in here. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit just a bit and, I don't know, sing a song? But either way, we're going to just have some fun while that is having fun in the pot. With that, one of the ingredients that we're going to be using, and we'll get to it a bit later, is hot sauce. And we're going to be using whatever your favorite hot sauce is. Two of my very, very big favorites is, hopefully I'm saying this right, Cholula. And this is Pico Pica and they are actually quite spicy. I love the way they taste. They are amazing. So whatever you think, if you like whatever hot sauce, you can use a Louisiana hot sauce. Some people might even wanna put barbecue in here if that's what you wanna do. I like keeping it this way, but it's my kitchen. You can do whatever you want in your kitchen. So here we are. Okay, these have actually melded together. What we're going to do now is we are going to put in the chopped cilantro, and I did a rough chop on this cilantro, and we're gonna mix that around. And with the heat, with the heat, it's going to actually make the cilantro wilt, and I probably did, I don't know, the size of your palm, amount of cilantro in there. It's so precise, isn't it, the size of your palm? You wanna do it to taste. If you love cilantro, put as much as you want on there. Put the whole bunch, it doesn't matter. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these gorgeous black beans in here. Okay. And that's gonna get the sizzle going a lot. And so now with this, because we have a hot pan and we kind of drain these these beans a bit. I'm going to add just a little bit of water so they can cook. Just a little bit of water in there. And we are going to know that they're kind of done once that water is all done. And here we go with the nice spice. Are you ready for the spice? I like it spicy, so don't judge me with how much I'm putting in here. I put some, let's, why don't we put both? I know I said your favorite, but put whatever you want in here.
And again, this has salt in it, so you don't really need to add any salt in these. So we're going to mix that up. And we're going to let it sit. And that is going to soften up the beans a bit more and really let them cook and get rid of like the canned or the raw taste out of it. I'm going to throw some more of that, the rest of the water in here. I probably put in probably five or so tablespoons of water. But you know, eyeball it, see what you need, and we're gonna let that sit. While that's happening, while this is sitting and kind of simmering a bit, we're gonna check on the yams that we stuck in the oven. So we're going to open this oven. We're gonna get another pot and we are going to actually grab Ooh, 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 these are looking good. Okay, and we know that they're ready because they are actually browned um, and they're soft. So if I press on them, it's kind of hot, but if I press on them, they are cooked all the way through. So what we're going to do is we are going to be very careful with these and we are going to put them in our handy dandy bowl that I have right here because it's time now to mix with the black beans. Now I will say this, I am not a huge fan of mixing your sweet and savory together. And so if you are kind of like me, I kind of like to keep my sweet sweet in the dessert kind of arena and my savory in the meal, in the general meal entree kind of arena. However, these sweet potatoes, once you spice them, they actually add a nice different texture and taste. The sweet doesn't bother me at all in this. It's actually quite delicious and really hearty. Sweet potatoes really keep you full. In addition to the nice protein and the black beans. Okay, so we have pretty much got, oh, we got a couple of stragglers. Don't be difficult while I have cup of tea. Okay, so now the black beans are actually all done and they are a little bit wet. You can actually get them a little bit drier, but we added that water to kind of soften them up. So what we're going to do now is we are going to then dump all of this into our pan. There you go. Don't wanna lose any. There you go. And then we're gonna mix this whole thing up. Smells so good. So now we got it all incorporated into one big dish. So now we're gonna let this cool just a bit because you're gonna burn your mouth. But it is spicy if you need to taste it for a little salt, you can add it after the fact. Um, and what you can do here also, put it on some brown rice, you can put it in tacos, you can put it in, in, in enchiladas, or use it on tostadas, it makes a really great hearty, hearty, hearty meal. Now, with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some brown rice and show you the finished product. Okay, we're all done. So now we put a bed of brown rice on there, we did our sweet potato and black bean mixture and a little bit of cabbage salad to give you that fresh feel. So we have a delicious and nutritious and extremely hearty meal that happens to be vegan. Um, you will actually impress your friends with this one. So again, my name is Dr. Olivia Moses and thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Thank you for joining me and spending some precious moments out of your day in my kitchen with me. It is always exciting when we have a new guest. So I'm going to ask you to subscribe as you leave so you can be a guest every single time we have a new video. Thank you for joining me and subscribe.